Hey guys, Crown Thorn Kennels here. Just a little video on the misters that I've installed in the kennels. I'm not sure if you can actually see them very well in the video, but there's four of them going in each cage. Um, as you can see, in this cage here, the mister bean right there. As you can see, the dogs just on the outside. Dogs are just on the outside catching a bit of the um, off spray. Usually, if they're on the inside, they'd be hanging around this area. As the puppy is over there. So yeah, we've got some um, pretty hot temperatures here today. I think we're up in the 30s, maybe uh, high 20s. We're on about 30 degrees Celsius, so it's a good hot day, and the um, the dogs ain't overheating. I've had them out in the pen in the sun, so as you can see, Fern's a little uh, tuckered out there, but they certainly know where to come for, for a cool down, which is the whole idea of the uh, misters, I guess. It's great, it's working well. Still got a bit to do on the kennels. But we're getting there. So yeah, if you're in a area where you have high temperatures and you got your dogs that the type of dogs that don't handle it too well, I'd uh, recommend looking into the misters. It's quite a seat, uh, quite a cheap setup. Just a hose, nozzles, sort of put them in where you want. Garden hose plug-in. And you're away. Nice and cool dogs. Just walking from outside of the cages to coming inside the cage here, the temperature drop is drastic. So it's really quite comfortable in these cages for the dogs. All right. As you can see there, Dala having a little sit down. Hey, Dala girl. Got little chili, I believe. I think that's chili. Chili, chili. Yeah, that's chili. It's chili. Got a little man here. Likes to always hang around my feet. Hey, my little man. He's loving it. Look at his neck. He's all wet. He's been rolling in some dirt. Loves it. So of course, at the moment, it's a bit messy. I haven't got my stones in yet. I'll fill this area up with stones. We've got little mats down at the moment just to try and keep the mud down but as you can see there it's a bit wet there it's just uh, an area that keeps gets wet from like the water bowl and stuff but I'll put stones in there I'll put stones just on the outside here maybe a meter meter wide just so that there's no just so there's no dirt dirt around to be walked in and out of the cages in and out of the kennels Probably do a nice metre width strip of um, shingle along here. What I'm hoping is with the misters as well and with the shingle, hopefully they'll cool the st stones down and it might give them a cool bed to lay on. I'm not sure. The dogs will sort it out themselves. As you can see, Fern's had a little bit of a spell out in the heat and she's come for a rest up against the mister getting the offspray there and lapping it up. Little man. Chili. Charlie. Charlie's over there having a bone. Big C's. We've got the guard dog, Big Caesar. He's just got his kennel over there. I'm still going to do a setup for that. I've got him on a pulley system at the moment. Just a pulley and cable. There's his chain there, so the high, whole idea is that he cuts off the front of the cages, stopping anyone accessing the front of the cages, even though they're locked. So he's on a pulley and a cable there. His kennel, so I've got to do a bit of a box set up here. I'll do a nice cool box set up for him. 
put his kennel, run, kennel under some shade and stuff keep him cool nice and cool and with the shade cloth to go up in this area here it should cast a nice shadow over the pen that's the idea with the new with the uh, second shade cloth going up if I can cast a nice shadow across this pen and keep this whole pen cool we should have some happy dogs at the moment they're just going to have to um, keep in the shade by the cages and whatnot so hopefully this weekend we'll have the shade up and we'll go from there for the next step I would like to get the shingle down this weekend as well but I'm not sure if that's going to happen as you can see you got the camera set up there as well this little surveillance camera set up there on the cages so we can see the cages all the time whenever we want got to dig some more poles in I've got two more poles to dig in this end Gonna have a pole pole out there which should give me a nice line to that pole oh, and then I'll move this perimeter fence out to those poles give it a good strain and the next pole is going to be around about here somewhere right on the gate I'll line it up with the other pole and if I can square it off with that pole there and then use these four poles to get that shade cloth up and I'll put it on a nice angle probably on an angle like that or something just so it casts its shadow right across this uh, penned area so that's the plan for Crownthorpe Kennels to move forward with our um, setup cheers guys